I first got involved, I was invited to uh, a presentation regarding uh, living it up because I'm a member of the expert patient group for pulmonary rehab. Uh, turned up and uh, found it very interesting, so have been attending various meetings ever since. Um, and so I, I first attended um, with a bit of, well I don't know what I'm doing here, attitude, but uh, started to enjoy it. Uh, it's, uh, it's very much a, you know, the, the user at the end of the day is the important one, the customer if you like, is the important person in all that. Uh, and it's got to be designed and work for the end user. I like to think I'm giving a fair representation. Obviously, it's from my own point of view, but it's my own point of view with the benefit, if you like, of knowledge of others who are of us in a similar situation to myself. Most of them aren't very technology-minded, but I'm trying to persuade them <laughs> into this. Well, I think um, the co-design function, uh, I was a bit dubious about it, um, but seeing the almost finished product, uh, I recognise some of the things that I voted for, I'm not saying suggested, but certainly voted in favour of, because sometimes the designs were a bit uh, naff, um, but the, the final product is, it looks very nice to me. It's, uh, it's nice uh, to have your opinion uh, confirmed as having been listened to. Um, I'm quite happy to impart anything that will help people. Um, you know, I say I'm part of an expert patient group to help other sufferers from pulmonary conditions, and with this living it up, I just see as an extension of it. That uh, if it, if my input means that more people get benefit from it, then yes, it does give you a certain warm glow, knowing that you've made a contribution. <laughs>